on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I am Lisa, in for Lori and Corinne. Today is Friday, November 22nd. Today, let's talk turkey. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. It's a national holiday in the United States and Canada, and it actually celebrates the harvest and the other blessings of the past year. My favorite holiday. I love the turkey, the dressing, the mashed potatoes, the salads, the jellos, the pies, the rolls. I love it all. But my favorite thing is that it is a day that really makes people aware of thankfulness and gratefulness and gratitude. A grateful heart shifts the focus from ourselves to other people and circumstances. Um, gratitude can be tricky because gratitude is not something that we're born with. Gratitude is something that we have to learn and that we have to, we really have to cultivate it over time. Um, gratitude is a learned discipline. And if you don't learn anything else, you need to learn gratitude because it will be such a positive impact on your life not just at thanksgiving but the whole year gratitude is a gift that keeps on giving um despite the way it makes us feel gratitude isn't an emotion and you can give yourself this gift of gratitude by choosing to become more mindful of your day-to-day -day experiences now um you have to recognize that Gratitude is what we choose to make it. We all have struggles and things that aren't going well, but if you practice an attitude of gratitude, it will make a huge difference. I'm gonna tell you about a few things I've jotted down of things that you can be gratitude, gr grateful and express gratitude for. Think about this. I'm always grateful for the first deep breath that I'm able to take after I've had a lingering head cold. You know, you've had that stuffed up head, a lot of people have had it, and you're finally able to take that deep breath and smell and taste. I'm always grateful for that. I'm always grateful when the electricity suddenly comes back on after it's been out for a couple of hours. Makes my heart jump. Grat grateful for that. I'm always grateful for my pillow especially when I've been out of town and traveling. Always grateful to come home to my own bed and my own old ratty pillow. I'm grateful for the way my dog's whole body wiggles when he comes to greet me at the door with a toy in his mouth. I'm always grateful when I receive a handwritten thank you note. That is something that's very meaningful to me. I'm grateful for a hug when I need it. I'm grateful when I discover that there really is a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm thankful when I get to eat that first freshly baked cookie hot out of the oven and scorching my mouth. I'm very grateful when the only light in the room comes from the Christmas tree. I'm grateful for pockets. I'm grateful when the clerk at the local grocery store checks my ID, even though I'm way over the legal age. It makes me grateful. I'm grateful when a human answers the phone. When I cross the last item off my to-do list, and I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for you, the CNAs, who take care of our nation's frail, elderly, sick. However you do it, wherever you work, I'm thankful for you. And remember to develop an attitude of gratitude, not just at Thanksgiving, but around the year, because it will help you tremendously. And remember that because you're a CNA, you matter. <laughs>